Hi everyone, welcome back to another cookbang. Today I'm going to make something really simple. I want to make this dish that came out in one of my favorite, uh, kind of favorite show uh, called Midnight Diner. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know this already, but there's one episode where uh, Shimizu, what's her name? So there's this one episode where um, a girl named Shimizu, I think, she eats fried chicken and it looks so delicious. And I've been meaning to make it um, filming, not filming whatsoever. I just wanted to really make that and have some beer. Um, so I'm going to make a dish called uh, te Tabaski. Tabaski karage chicken. So, I have some chicken wings over here. Chicken wings, chicken wings. I'm going to quickly marinate it before I deep fry it. So, let's actually put this guy to the side. And voila. These are all like simple seasonings that I'm going to use today. I'm gonna use some gloves. Okay, so I'm going to make some cuts. So I feel like I should be cutting this in half, like. Okay. I wish I had my that. Like. Okay, no, this is not gonna work. Cause I, you have. There's this one knife that could cut through the bones which oh nice i did it i did it <laughs> um so i'm going to make cuts in between um, it says make a cut like above and under the bone so that's what i want to do Okay, I'm not gonna obsess over it, but here we go. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to use this part of the wing as well. Oh, I think just one cut, I think that's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. I tried to pluck out all the hairs. I think finding pieces of hair on chicken is the most unappetizing thing for me. Uh, but I'm getting over it. <laughs> take too long so I make a small slit like that okay okay this is going well something simple okay. I have one more after this one I think um, I'm going to wash these one more time before I season it. So let me just finish with the last one. put these back in here. I'm gonna wash them really quickly. I'm gonna have to wash this anyways. So, here we go. I'm gonna take one off. I'm gonna season it with a little bit of salt. Oh. Let's 
good. Um, in the recipe that I saw, they use sake, but I don't have sake, so I'm going to just use this, um, like a cooking alcohol. It says it'll reduce like the meat smell and the fish. Just a little bit, and then some soy sauce. I think as long as I don't overdo on the seasoning, it'll taste good no matter what. So I'm going to let this sit maybe 10 minutes. Yeah. I think this is good. I don't wanna, like I said, I don't wanna overdo it. Just a little bit enough. Ta -da! Okay, so let's get started on the oil. The chicken should be ready in like a minute or two. I don't really think I have to be that exact. I think that's good. I have some potato starch. I'm going to, I don't know if I should mix it in here. Yeah, I'm gonna mix it in. Let's just start with a little bit. Huh? I'm going to fry just one first and see how they turn out and if I like it, I'll keep it this way if not, I'm going to just kind of throw it in the cornstarch one more time before I fry it I'm trying to get it up to 350-ish There's some cornstarch here Bit. So I think this should be ready. So I'm going to test one with just like this, and I'm going to test one. Ew, yikes. I'm going to test one with a uh, kind of covering extra layer of cornstarch. And then let's cover one with. A little bit more, like not a lot. I don't want to like drench it, not like this much. Oh, 
Well, to raise the heat just a little bit, I'm going to add more oil. Frying it with extra uh, layer of starch, like what I just did, is kind of like giving me what I was expecting and what I want. Crispy they look. This one. Ooh, this one looks good too. I keep forgetting how hot this place gets when I deep fry anything, but I just love deep frying not the most ideal to deep fry sitting down like this but it's still fun 
I mean, it's dangerous, so I hope nobody does it at home like me. Um, especially like chicken, it felt like it was a lot more splashy. <laughs> Just a little bit. Nice. So, put it here then. Bye. Put it down. Put it down. Oh, I have a lot of cleaning to do after this. They actually turned out really delicious looking. <laughs> okay, so for today's beer, I have Be Beguile? Beguile? This one is American Blonde Ale brewed with honey. Brewed and canned in Chicago, Illinois. Eat. Oh, I have some rice. Oh man. Mm. I'm trying to wing. I just love the way she eat it eat it in the episode. Like she would hold it with two hands, kinda like nibble on it. It made me always crave it. It doesn't exactly look like it, but whatever. Feels good enough. I'm gonna just do some chalua. Try out the hot sauce. You know, actually, I wanna dip this in some salt and pepper. Mmm. Oh, I feel. I think this one is the one where I didn't um do extra layer of starch. Mmm.
I think I'm gonna watch the episode after this. This one is definitely the one where I did extra layer. I think you could tell by texture. I'm sure I really want to try it with um, honey mustard that I have. The rice. I'm definitely gonna do ketchup next. Mm. Let's see which one looks crispy. Mm. Well, I think this is the first one, maybe. Damn, this one looks crispy. I'll try this one with some ketchup. I think that show, The Midnight Diner, um, I think each episode is so different for me. Like, some of the episodes I'm obsessed with, I could watching it, I can watch it over and over again. But some episodes, I'm just like, I don't want to watch it ever. Some honey mustard and ketchup.
do this one. I'll get some hot sauce and ketchup this time. Mm. Anyway, that the this chicken karaage episode is one of my favorite. I think it's so interesting. <clears throat> Basically, you know, the moral of the story, of moral of the episode was just be yourself. Don't try to change yourself for somebody so they could love you. I'd rather be, you'd rather be hated for who you are than love for someone who you are not. It's so true. You just, you'll be happier that way. I there's like a really really bitter aftertaste. I just realized because I don't know. I'm not like getting drunk. I mean, I did have the first gulp on my like really empty stomach. But uh, it's it's okay. I don't know. I like it. Do I like it? I definitely don't think that this will be my go-to beer. But I'm glad I tried it. Um, but yeah, I am going to end the video here today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's cookbook, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.